Sorting our data in order to understand it is equally as important as presenting data in a sorted manner. That's because we humans read information from left to right and then top to bottom. Now, the Tableau philosophy is to bring the data to the forefront so we can focus on the problem and solve it. And one way we can do that very easily is to simply sort our data. <laughs> In this video, I'm going to show you the sorting function, right? So it's not really, I guess it's not really called a function, but it's really how we sort the data. So it's not going to apply to every single type of visualization. So in this one, I'm going to show you how to apply it to a table, how to apply it to a bar, and then how to apply it to, you know, various types of columns. So let's start by just minimizing this by clicking the show me, get rid of that for a second. And I'm going to clear all of this. We're going to get rid of it. So here at the top, you're going to see this kind of cross. Let's clear everything. And I use that button a lot just to go, well, I don't like this, clear. I don't like this, clear. Okay. So let's build a simple table, right? Or a, basically a cross tab. So I'm going to start by building, let's say, state and group. I'm going to bring in here. I'm going to bring some sort of value inside. So delivery fee, we're going to drop it into text. Okay. And the reason I'm dropping into text as opposed to in here is because I don't want a bar chart or a column chart. I just want a standard table. Okay, and then we want to split it across the top. So let's get result and drop it into column. So now we have a bit of a table. Now, the weird thing about this particular visualization is the text for result is a little bit longer or significantly longer than the state. So one thing we might want to do is actually swap the um, field headings in this setup with the row headings, right? So we're going to kind of replace these two. The first way, you, uh, the simple way you can do it is just grab top one, bring it here and bring the other one and bring it here. Okay. Or if you have lots of them, right, that can get a bit annoying and very confusing. So what instead what we use is this transpose button right here that looks like this. And basically what that does is it takes everything in the columns and swaps it with everything in the rows. Okay. So let me show you. If I click on that, it just swaps them around. So it's a really cool way that if you've built something and you know you didn't quite like it, you're like, oh, I kind of have to tilt my head a lot. Maybe I'll just transpose it. Okay, so let's go ahead and transpose it like that. So now I have the rows here and I've got the values at the top. Okay, so let's sort this. I'm going to make this a little bit wider just so it's a bit easier to read. Okay, and we'll make this a little bit narrower just so it's readable. So the way this uh, works, and um, by default, this will sort alphabetically. Okay. And from there, we can do a number of things. One is we can sort this one right here. So if you hover, you're going to see this little A to Z. All right, I'll zoom in there so you can see. This will only appear when you hover. All right. So if I hover, you can see it. If I don't, it's gone. Okay. And if I press this, I can sort the whole thing. Cool. Very simple. Like so. All right, the next thing is I can actually sort by the columns themselves. So let's say I want to sort, you know, Victoria highest to lowest. I can hover here and you can see the symbol. I can press that and it will now sort this highest to lowest. Cool. That's pretty easy. Okay, that is kind of your, your starting point for sorts. Um, for tables, that's pretty much it. So what we're going to do next is we're going to move on to bars and I'm going to show you a few other ways to do sorting. So let's create a new sheet, just that button down here. And let's create a bar chart and let's use that show me function as a kind of a good practice. Let's bring in the state and let's bring in a measure, let's say delivery fee. So holding control on the keyboard, we're going to press those two and then we're going to press this one right here. And now we have a bar. So when it comes to a visualization type where you have a bar, right, the sorting is kind of similar, but not quite the same. So if I hover here, and I'll just make some more room again. Okay, if I hover over the name, you can still see that A to Z, and I can sort them alphabetically, you know, ascending or descending, cool. But if I hover over this axis, you can also see the symbol appear, right, you have to hover. And this will sort at highest to lowest by value. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. And I can sort it that way. Okay, so if I cycle through them, it goes uh, highest to lowest, lowest to highest, and then back to the original. Okay, so you can sort it that way. There's another way you can sort, which is if I go up here to the pills, I can actually sort up here. So if I right click and go sort, I have a few other options. So data source order is basically how the data came in. 
Okay, ascending and descending, you have those two options. You can see it's changing in the background. We can also change it for alphabetical. Okay, we got field. This is a bit more advanced. We're not going to really cover this. Uh, manual, you can move things around as you wish, like so. Or you can move a group of them. Oh, sorry, not a group. You can just manually move it like this. That's in case you wanted it in a specific order. Right, and then Nessa we're not going to cover. So Nessa and Field, a bit more advanced. We don't really have to worry about that right now. Just these few um, is already super helpful. I can move Victoria all the way to the top as well if I wanted. Okay, or we can clear the whole thing, and it goes back to the original. I can also go to here to. Uh, sorry, no, that was it. That's pretty much the sorting. Now, what happens if you get a bit more of an advanced? Um, what's called bar chart. So let's say instead of just a single um, measure, oh no, a single measure, uh, a single set of bars, we have another set. So let's say I want to bring in, um, let's say Metro Regional, I'm going to bring that into the columns. Okay, so now I have a whole set of bars. Well, I can do the same thing again. I can still sort by going over them and I can sort this one highest to lowest, or this one highest to lowest, or I can go down here and do it highest to lowest, right? Completely up to you how you want to sort them. And that's it. So that is kind of your introduction to sorting, right? And getting your visualization set up. Once we get into more dashboard views, and then we start talking about, well, how do you actually present and communicate information? This will be super important. But until then, hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you at the next one.